My name is Eleni. I'm an illustrator, as you can clearly see from my beret. And I wanted to make this video for a long time and I was waiting for the sun to return back to England, but it never did. And now it's raining, but the lighting is still okay, so why not? So this video will be about art materials and particularly about colored pencils, probably you already have seen the title of the video. So yes, <laughs> um, I used colored pencils my whole life in comparison to watercolors that I discovered, I think, only when I was 15. So colored pencils were there with me my whole life and I, will, I love them and I should predict them you. I should predict you <laughs> that I love them really much so at some point maybe the video will be kind of cringe i'm not sure but i warned you so as we say in russia you're warned so you're armed i'm not sure that it's a good um translation of this phrase but let's start also this video is for those that asking me under my each post what colored pencils i use so you should watch this video and never ask me again okay and um, probably this won't happen you will, will still ask me but maybe there will be less of them so yeah let's start Today I'm going to talk about my favorite colored pencils. Um, I will show how and where I use them, and also some of my favorite ones are brand, bra, 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 brandless. <laughs> they are brandless, <laughs> and because probably I have them for almost ten years or something like that. I don't know since I was six. I'm nineteen, so more than 10 years and yes also some of them are kind of small so usually i just attach them with something to a bigger pencil like this one i mean such a professional so yes so the oldest and most favorite brand of color pencils is Colored Peps Muppet. Uh, I have really deep attachment to these colored pencils because they have... It, 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 ha it has to do with my childhood, okay? It's a really long story, but I love these pencils and they are really cool and they are quite cheap, which is good. I mean, I think the pack of 36 uh, pencils can... Um, it's around ten dollars or something like that. I'm quite like on Amazon for sure. So they're quite cheap and the quality is still amazing. Yes, so that's really good. <laughs> and they are bright, they are vibrant. I use them mostly for sketches, and um, they are really nice with watercolors, but of course dried watercolors like it should be completely dried to seem okay but like any of any colored pencils that we, you will use on watercolors so and sometimes i use it on gouache uh, because um some colors are vibrant enough even for gouache which is also good and i don't know um you can always uh, buy a smaller pack to check if they work for you and then you can buy a bigger pack because I think the last one that I bought was the biggest one and I think it cost me around $15 and it has like I don't know a lot of colors <laughs> and it was really good and um, this brand has also fluorescent colors like yellow green and pink and also um it has meta two metallic colors or three not two two metallic the gold one and the silver one which are also quite good yes so 
the only disadvantage of these uh, color pencils that it's that they quite easily can be broken so you should be really careful when you sharp them because um, if you broke them during the sharpening they will be broken all the time so I just learned how to sharp them um, like in my own way <laughs> and they work for me not good sometimes they like they just broke more often than other color pencils but still they worth it so that's why i continue to love them and use them so yes uh also what what is amazing for these color pencils is that they have um jumbo color pencils uh which are really good and you can cover with them big spaces and they're still vibrant and um they're not that easily like it's kind of difficult to finish this color pencil they're not like if you you will use it a lot it will be okay like for three or four months which is good i mean a lot so yes i think um they are quite nice and you should give them a try um my next favorite brand is polychromos faber castell uh it is important that I mean, I mean polychromos, not the watercolors ones. I hate watercolor pencils. Don't ask me, it's child trauma, but I don't like watercolor pencils at all. So I mean, the the, the simple colored pencils. <laughs> and I think uh, first for the first time that I used them, uh, my aunt bought me five years ago a pack of thirty six, and I haven't used like I haven't used them for one year because I was too afraid to touch them they were like so perfect and I after that I was using them only for special occasions like oh my god like I will use this color for like I don't know for one minute here and never use it again because I was too afraid to finish them they were like so cool but now obviously I use them everywhere right? so I passed this phase of my of my life and um so i usually use them everywhere as i said i love sketching with them and i love uh using them on watercolors especially on watercolors they look so nice on them and i use them on gouache as well i think for me it's the best brand to use on the gouache because they look still really vibrant and they kind of make great outlines so that for me that's perfect for me and my style uh also uh mostly i love the combination of color peps muppet with polychromos either on this, my sketches either on my illustrations because like color peps have some specific uh, colors that i know make a great combination between uh, polychromos ones which is i don't know my my, my personal um no discover probably <laughs> but still they are really expensive and i think color peps are a really good uh, alternative for faber castell for me at least so um usually i'm buying polychromos castell separately uh because they cost i think around uh one dollar thirty which is okay it's a lot but still okay so usually i just like both um i can buy um the colors that i use mostly or some additional color that i don't already have so yeah but still of course it's way more cheaper to buy a pack and i'm dreaming about this huge box of polychromos faber castell i mean look at this i mean i need these books at some point i will give all my money for these books and i think the at that day i will call myself more proudly as an illustrator when i will give like 200 dollars for pencils that's what illustrators are doing in my mind <laughs> so yes so next brand is called jolly and i find them quite good 
and they are also cheap which is also good and um, they are mostly like for sketching uh, and I don't really like to use them on watercolors and on gouache because they look kind of strange still okay but for me kind of strange so I prefer just sketching with them because they are also really bright but the way that they lay on the paper is kind of like weird I don't know how to explain that it's just like kind of dry maybe they are kind of dry so they look weirdly on the paper so the best color pencils for sketching which I will suggest you 100% as a professional uh, it's big tropic colors too I don't know why there is a two I never meant the first one but okay they are really nice because they are bright but they are perfect for sketching because they are really easily erased so I usually sketch uh, with them for a big illustration because they cannot be seen after layers of watercolors or other colored pencils so they kind of like it's way better than using simple pencil because it will smudge and look awful at least I never like managed to make it look good so for me they work really good and I usually use the pink orange or red one for sketching for a big illustration because they all of them they kind of uh, have a light color and they can be easily erased also may, sometimes I make uh, a sketch for not illustration with watercolors but just illustration like in my sketchbook because again they are really easily erased from any paper and they are really useful for me because I may I can make a lot of mistakes during the process <laughs> Uh, the last two ones are my recent findings. The first one is Academic Color Dervent. They are kind of dry for me, which is nice for some works. And But the, the strange is that some colors are dry and others are not. So it's just like kind of strange, but still they have good quality. And uh, mostly I like few specific colors from this brand and they are looking really good on the paper and the red one I use for uh, mostly for portraits and pink one, pink one as well also this light green is amazing of the watercolors and I use this like all the time on when I am drawing plants um also they are some of the colors they are really smooth and vibrant and they they're good so the last brand is really 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 recent finding uh they are from the brand arteza i'm not sure if i pronounced in the right way this brand i'm sorry <laughs> And they kind of remind me of polychromos, but they have a bit different consistency and they are also really smooth and vibrant, but still polychromos are more vibrant and um, I think I like them a bit more, but um, Arteza is way more cheaper and I think that's cool because it's, I think, Color preps and artesas are the best alternatives for polychromos, but color preps are a bit uh, cheaper and artesas is a bit ex more expensive than color preps, so there is like a line. <laughs> so here you can see um, all the brands that I mentioned, like the comparison of them, and you can make your decisions or you can watch some clips on YouTube which show each pen pencil how it looks on the paper which is good and I think 
uh, all my descriptions are based on my own experience and the way that I draw, so probably some of the pencils won't be good for you. That's why it's good to experiment and search for the perfect art material for you. I think it's good. So that's why you can just go to the art shop and try separately some pencils, watch how they work for you, watch how they combine with other art materials that you use, and Choose your favorite one. <laughs> also, I'm not sure if you're ready, but I have a rainbow pencil. Isn't that cool? Well, I think that's all. I hope this video won't be too long and I hope it was informative for you because so many people were asking me about color pencils and I hope I helped a bit. Um, also, I don't know how to say it, but this t-shirt is made by me. I don't know if you can see it because probably it will be like a mirror. <laughs> you will see me like a mirror. <laughs> but here it says, choose your weapon to fight patriarchy and I find it perfect because I made it. And if you want the same t-shirt, there is a link below and you can pre-order it till 13th of March, I think. Maybe... No, I think there is more time. So you have some time to do it. <laughs> and I think that's all. So you can suggest me some other brands below. I will try them because I like trying color pencils. It's my passion. I really like color pencils. I mean, I have a lot of them. So also you can, I know, describe your um, experience with the color pencils that I already mentioned and just be a bit interactive. <laughs> That's all. Thank you.